Hello, hello everybody, this is old Toby, and we are going to jump back in and go for expedition number two in the Curious Expedition. Um, we were the first to find our business next last time, and uh, to find the Golden Pyramid, so we're going to uh, try and keep that record going. Now, as I said, they, things start getting a little bit more difficult as you venture, venture on, so here we go. <clears throat> So we have uh, Madagascar there, harsh and desolate area which only experienced explorers should venture into, or into which only experience the hidden dry islands. I'm going to go to, uh... rumors talked about a golden pyramid. Uh, let's go there. After being too excited to sleep, I arrived at the docks. We had some more time before the ship could be ready, so I sat on the pier and waited. A merchant politely asked for my attention. He asked us to obtain a rare idol that was said to be located in a village in the area of our upcoming expedition. He guaranteed a worthwhile reward upon his delivery. Except, I'll take it. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. So who wants to join? The expedition could, could potentially lift me into first place. I guess they found it. I, I don't know. I guess their fame was higher. Whoever was ahead. Word about this head spread had spread in the city, so many new recruits arrived in the ship, willing to join our trek. Who did I want to recruit? We lost somebody last time. A Scottish soldier? And another? So we got... F we got... E Ewan, e Ewan, Ewan MacArthur and Francis Walsh. I'm going with Ewan. He loves his whiskey, apparently. He's not an alcoholic, but he's an expert. Ewan... Join us. My heart jumped with joy as I heard the ship was ready to sail. I'm off, Tabay, Max Mucker. All right, uh, purchase equipment. <laughs> um, yes, let's barter. All right, so I still have my camp. I have my gun. I have some shovels. Um, I've got a spear. I need... Um, let's take all of these. Uh, let's return. Wait, no. Let's take five. We need to also take this, 5, 10, 30. Uh, we need four of those. Um, gosh, this is scary. Uh, more bullets. I'm going to take this. I can't. Take two. Hopefully we can find some food. Machete helps cut through jungles. I'm not too worried about that because my dude has a buff on jungles, right? Okay. We're just going to go with it. Deal. Here we go. Generating whimsy and shrines and tragedy. Okay. So here we are. Where are... Oh, there we are. There we are. There's our group. Um, so there are three areas in this region we have to discover. The hill. Let's. Oh, that's marshlands. Okay, let's go to the hill and see what we can see. Ooh, that's lovely. All right. So yeah, that's uh, these dry lands here are difficult to pass through apparently. Jeez. All right. Um, we're getting north. Uh, it's basically southwest to northeast, so it's bay down here somewhere. Um, I'm hoping for a village or something here close by, so I'm going to go ahead and travel here. We'll see what we can see. Examine tomb. A small pyramid just barely reached out of the dunes. It is likely to be a grave built by an ancient civilization. A small opening led into the darkness. Let's do it. We should not be here. He doesn't like it. Hey, it's our same dude. He survived. Enter tomb. You worry too much. We entered the dark tomb. Mankind did not set foot within here for hundreds of years. There was a stone sarcophagus in the center of the small changer. Tarapur, I don't know, Ferazesha? Ferazesha? Tarapur seemed visibly upset at the idea of exploring this site and warned us about disturbing the gods. Let's open it. 
The smell of rot and decay filled the air as we lifted the cover from the sarcophagus. Inside we found a fur perfectly preserved mummy. All of a sudden it started to twitch and limp and chase toward us. Fight. Nice. Uh, I should flee the crap out of here. Um, but I'm going to try my luck. I'm going to fight. We got hit. It's a hit! Attack. Roll. Ooh, here we go. A doink, doink. Double attack. Can we... Is that? No, it doesn't help us. Dang. Let's hit. Quick shot. Dang. Let's roll so we get one more hit. No. End round. Oh, there's one dude dead. He's, he's dead. I'm practically dead. Okay, let's get the crap out of here. If we wanted to survive, we had to escape. The wounds of Ian, Ewan MacArthur had prevented escape. I was helpless and had to abandon the wounded. Shoot! Our Scottish dude died. And now we're overburdened. Crap on a stick. Well. Uh, it's not possible here. Hmm, great. We're going to have to travel here and then drop our... We go really slowly now. Now let's camp. This it will. Enter camp. Okay. So now we can... One thing that's cool about having a camp is we can drop some business off. Uh, we can put some specific things in here. Uh, I haven't used that yet. So I'm going to drop that off. So it's available for us to go to, you know, we can return to it and get it over, get it back, I mean. We settled down and told the people to rest. The night was bleak and everyone was seemingly worn out by this as we sat by the fire. Tonight we are not alone. The sound of beating drums echoed through the jungle as we stared into the flames of the campfire. Missy Trask. All right, rest. Send it. Come on. Resting for days. Sleeping with the roof over one's head was a luxury we could seldom afford. Uh, let's go ahead and leave. Uh, they're not doing too much better, actually. So we are east... Uh, it's barely south. Uh, let's just go this way. Travel. What are we seeing here? West? And south. Go. I want to go to this hill. Oh my goodness. I want to go up on the hill and see. Okay, so there's some kind of... Ooh, right there. Oh, now it's north. Man, this can't... Uh... That's got to be it right there then, eh? Let's go. We're just going to travel. And I hope that that's it. Was it really that close? It sure was. Amazing. Explore. Overcoming all the obstacles we had survived. That's awesome. I mean, sometimes, because it's randomly generated, it can be really, really close. I just assumed it wouldn't be there that close. It's happened to me once where it was the first place I went. So I went, sweet, I'll take it. The name Frederick Courtney Sellers will be written about. Finish expedition. Current fame. That's where we were when we started. We've got another 120. Another 200. 630. Let's finish. Sweet. Now let's go ahead and pick another perk. Excuse me. Impetus. Reduces the base sanity cost of travel. Nope. No. We are doing that. Just ahead of me, so I guess you're really going for fame. I'm tied with uh, Alexandra David Neal, and Darwin's ahead, and we got Burton sucking up the joint while well, he's sucking up the joint there. 
I don't have anything to sell, so let's continue. Excuse me, I have no funds, so I can't <clears throat> buy anything new, and I left that sh those shovels. A little stupid. Stay easy here and come on the fourth one. Do that one. Let's start. After getting up very early, I made haste and arrived at the docks. There were still some preparations necessary. <coughs> Excuse me. So I spent my time on the deck enjoying the cool breeze. The woman approached me with a request. She told me about her missing husband, a former adventurer who never returned from his last expedition. She begged me to try and find him. If he was still alive, return him to her arms. I will, of course, accept that. The expedition. I nodded. Expedition. Expedition was potentially lift me in the first place. My fame was well known. And how many people came to? Uh, many people came to our ship boarding to see our ship boarding. Cultist, a cook. Ooh, what does that mean? <clears throat> oh, he steals. Okay, no. This guy is a sexist, but he can fight. But he's only got one heart, and this guy's got two hearts. But he's gonna steal stuff, man. I'm gonna go with a cultic, c cultist. I can always get rid of him if I decide that we don't need him. Purchase equipment. Uh, okay, barter. Let's see. Can I buy anything? What is that? Marbles. I can't. Can't afford that. Dang, nabbit. Well, let's take some marbles then. We can trade. Deal. We'll find the village and uh, give them some colorful marbles in exchange for stuff and deals. Alright, here we go. We are. We are right here. We've got grasslands, fireplace, another fireplace. <coughs> We have something down here, a shallow river, another fireplace, some standing stones, or rock formation. Interesting. Well, I guess we should go to the hill first. Okay, and we're seeing on here... Oh, jeez, basically anywhere. Uh, that takes two rope. This one is 23. This one doesn't seem that bad. 19. Let's go here. Is that a village? We carefully approached the unknown native village. The natives were a true sight, a clan of powerful warriors, pretend protectors of the region. As we arrived, seemingly the whole village surrounded a mysterious looking idol. I could tell they were performing some kind of ceremony. We did not disturb them or their doing uh, while unpacking our crates. Precious looking stone idols in the center. The villagers observed us with caution. They were kind and offered to help us in our cause. Let us trade. Ooh, look at that. Um, can we eat that? Strange looking mushroom is said to temporarily increase the viewing distance when consumed. Elephant tusk. We could probably make money. There's more. We've got five of those. The animal tooth. That's just for money, for trading. Golden head. I bet we could sell that. Price and trading. Deal. Recruit. Anybody want to join us? However, none of the villagers did want to join the trek. They simply did not trust us. Okay, we don't have anything yet. A girl laid down some fruits by the idol. Uh, leave. Okay. Continue. Now, let's look at this. It's north... Okay, it's... Just, let's just go here. Let's go to the other hill. Now that it doesn't cost as much. New region! Okay, so that compass is swinging all the way around. Okay, it's south. So it's kind of down around this way, maybe. We'll travel that way. 
What is this? Let's go here. It's close. Travel. Examine the shrine. A, long, a temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed in the light before us. All manner of plant life grew toward the sun. The portal that led within emanated an eerie chill. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water underneath the ground. I will not try to conspire against you. Nice. Enter shrine. We arrived at what seemed to be a treasure chamber. It was truly an awe-inspiring sight. I held my breath as we discovered the ancient, ancient art altar in its center. My, this is pretty impressive. Investigate altar. Oh, take all. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water broke through the ground and started to flood the whole area. We had to run for our lives to not drown in the huge lake to begin to form. Oh, that's right. Sometimes if you take stuff, um, bad things can happen. You can affect... Oh, analyze. Nice. See, look at that. Behind us, because we found the, the regions located inside... Ooh, I can... Uh, let's do this guy. Uh, let's promote this crapper. Oh, I need two of them. Okay. Um, see, look at that. I caught because I took the idol. I caused prod things to be out of whack, and bad things were happening. This bleak and ancient place was located in the middle of the swamp, scattered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some reason, hundreds of the animals had come to die here. Search the area. Uh, after some time, we found valuable elephant tusks that could be sold for a high price. Let's take it. Okay, we're not overburdened yet. So much more to see. Okay, let's see. Look at that. It's almost directly east. We don't have a choice. Come on. Ooh. Oh, good. Let's go here, travel. Don't be bad. Okay, explore. Good. Uh, we arrived at a magnificent waterfall. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The water cooled down the air, creating a fresh breeze. We are going to rest. We settled down and allowed everyone to rest. We were at the brink of collapse. Even the warming flames of the campfire had a hard time to ease our mind. While we huddled around the fireplace, we heard this, what sounded like a fight coming nearby. A young native was struggling to fend off a hideous beast. Help. Oh, no. We're going to help him. Come on, we, we have health. Roll. Did I do that? No. Quick shot. Ooh, three damage. Ooh, good. We're gonna do that on... Ah, mistake. And round. Oh, oh. No, we're staying with it. We're going to finish this. Headbutt. Quick shot. That was useful from the dead. Loot. Oh, can I take it all? Let's see. I'm overburdened. Water caught up with me and I was washed away. Five items were lost. 
We prepared to part, uh, rest overnight. We settled down. There was an, a natural quietness to the place as we rested in the turmoil in the group. Pointed to a vulture that was flying overhead. According to him, it was a bad omen. Nothing I could do. I tried to talk sense into him, but he would not listen. To spoil, spoil the mood, mood for the evening. Rest. Come on. <coughs> Uh, we're going to leave, and I'm going to get rid of one slot overburdened. I think I'll get more for the other. So where are we south? Oh, wow. Won't go that far. Let's go almost directly south. Can't go any further that way. Shoot! West. That stinks. I was not expecting that. I don't have any dynamite. Well, okay, so now we're seeing now the dynamite's a necessity as well. Um. Well, poop. Well, let's go back here then, and then we'll uh, we'll rest up a little bit, try and get some sanity back. It's a tense mood as we rested, cutting her arm with a small shard. It seems as if she caused me actually deliberately. I checked her, but she just said so quietly, "Yeah, you're going mad." She's going mad. Rest. 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 Okay. Let's leave. Alright. Oh, I got a fire. Before we knew what had happened, fire began to spread. I suspected Tapura... Taporo... I don't know, to be the cause of this incident. Commander to be more careful next time. Shoot. Let's get out. This is horrible. We need to get out of here. We're going to use up all our sanity. We're going to go mad. But I don't have a choice. i got to get out of here. It is mild roll flyer. Bleeding from the wound. She didn't seem to feel any pain. I checked her when she sat there quietly. Sure, she's going. We're going mad. Um, and I don't have anything. Uh, we can go to the village. Let's go to the village. See, this is where it gets tough because I don't know what we could do. See, they're going mad. Someone was missing this morning. I looked around and saw sitting on the crate, absolutely whispering to himself. He was gnawing on a half-eaten human leg. He's gone mad. I could not believe my eyes as I understood that L Lipidib had been killed and devoured. You stink, dude. So now it shows up, yes, he's a cannibal. Great. Great. So now we're overburdened. We can't eat this. So we're going to have to discard it. Let's go back to the village. He's going to find it first before us, too. Oh, it's gone mad. Did not breathe anymore and must have died in her sleep. I was shocked and confused. Maybe she'd been stung by poisonous animal. But not. Okay. Dead. Didn't make it. So that, that tells you that when you get to a certain point, you really have to have the right stuff in there. So the, I, I'm assuming that the first... Don't necessarily even go for the the Golden Temple, but get as much stuff as you can to sell to uh, fund your later expeditions. Well, there you go. There was two expeditions I think we did. So, that's the second part. We'll uh, try again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.